Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the energies of your person, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. What are they thinking, feeling about you? Uh, what are their intentions towards you? So let's jump right in, Sagittarius. What do we need to know about this person? This person that you are thinking about or connecting with. What are their energies towards Sagittarius? What are they thinking, feeling when it comes to Sagittarius? We'll also look at what message they have for you as well. Spirit, what's this person's overall energy when it comes to Sagittarius or this connection? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Wow, the Ace of Cups, great start. <laughs> A lot of love, emotional fulfillment, emotion, feelings are strong. This person definitely has feelings for you. Okay, I got two. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. They could be an earth sign, but um, the King of Pentacles to me is someone very serious, dedicated, business oriented. Now, typically for me as a reader, they are already involved with someone else or they are just, they take care of others. Seven of Pentacles. So this person has a little bit of doubts or questions about whether this is going to be successful in the future, whether this will happen. Let's see, what's the Seven of Pentacles about? Why are they worried about? Could it be that they're concerned with how you might feel towards them? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah. I think this person's worried that you are not interested in them or you're not going to be interested in an offer or something like that. It may be that they have feelings for you, but those feelings are not reciprocated. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands. Well, we have a new beginning. So this is someone that's interested in something new with you is what it seems like here. And they're having doubts that it could happen. Let's get some overall energies down here. Tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's overall energy when it comes to Sagittarius? Burning passion. The chemistry is off the charts. Hmm. Okay, maybe this started off as a fling or something casual or they're just extremely attracted to you. What else do we need to know? Falling leaves. Time changes everything. So maybe some time has passed here. They're still interested if that's, you know, if this is something that this burning passion was something that happened in the past, this person is still interested in you, in this connection. What else? What else do we need to know, Spirit? when it comes to this person and what they're thinking, feeling towards Sagittarius. What else do we need to know? What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Sagittarius? Ah, nope. That doesn't feel right for Sagittarius. Once upon a time, beginnings, journey, first step. So again, I feel like this is someone that wants to begin something with you. To begin a connection to have a new start what else what else what else do we need to know for Sagittarius what is this person's energies sad goodbye distance ending separation this could be somebody wanting to reconnect after an ending of some sort or perhaps they think if they were to tell you that they want a new beginning in love, maybe for you, that's not the way that you thought this was going to go. Maybe this was 
in your mind a friendship or a professional relationship. I feel like some of you, Sagittarius, like some of you watching, you have a partner. And this person knows for you to be together, you would have to separate from a partner. Obviously, that's not going to resonate with everyone watching. It's not for all of you. But I, I did pick that up with Sag Goodbye. I don't feel like that it has to be a goodbye from the past. Almost like this goodbye is an obstacle, but it could be an obstacle for more than just history. Like it could be an obstacle in the present. I hope that makes sense. What, what messages do they have for Sagittarius? What do they wish they could tell Sagittarius at this time? What do they wish they could tell Sagittarius at this time? Ten of Wands. They're burdened. They're weighed down. They find this difficult. Um, I feel also like this person could be suppressing how they feel or just like pushing their emotions down because there's a lot of emotions here. And I feel like this person is having a, a, a hard time right now. Five of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Maybe they want to share with you the difficulties they're experiencing. Maybe they want to talk about burdens or obligations that they're carrying in their life. Maybe they want a shoulder to cry on. What else does this person want to tell Sagittarius? Anything else that we need to know? Anything else that we need to know? Judgment. Okay. Okay. Some of you, this person just wants to tell you honestly that they want a new start with you. Others of you, I feel like this person needs to like unload. Like they need to, to just get this off their chest. Uh, with the King of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. Like they just want to be direct and just like no longer have to carry this burden. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings? What is in their heart space when it comes to Sagittarius? What is in their heart space when it comes to Sagittarius? Living in denial. This person could have been living in denial, pretending that their life was great. Um, maybe they denied their feelings for you for a really long time and now they can't deny them any longer. What else do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings towards Sagittarius? Oh, I got two. I know what love is because of you. Okay, so they're recognizing here that you taught them a lot. I should have told you how I felt when I had the chance. Again, I feel like this is someone that's been carrying these feelings, burdened by what they feel. Bottom of the deck is time apart. Some of you did have a separation from this person, but I also feel like a lot of time has passed too because of falling leaves here. Enough time has passed for things to change significantly here. So what is this person's intentions? What are, the, what are their intentions towards you? Spirit, what is this person's intentions towards Sagittarius? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about their intentions towards Sagittarius? Ooh. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about their intentions towards Sagittarius? Oh my gosh, the tower. Maybe they want to surprise you. Maybe their intentions are to do something unexpected, something shocking. The Page of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So this could be talk to you suddenly, unexpectedly, reach out with a text, a message with the Page of Swords. This could be like through social media. Maybe they comment on a photo or DM you. Tell me more about this tower. Wow, this is our intention. Tell me more about this tower, Spirit. Why is the tower here for Sagittarius? Seven of Cups. 
Interesting. I feel like this will be a bit confusing for you or perhaps this person, they felt like they probably had no other option. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. This is definitely communication. And the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So not only did the King of Swords come out um, earlier, but also the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with a, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I think that they just have something unexpected to tell you. I mean, it's, it's right here. It'll be shocking, surprising. Some of you, I feel, are going to be very confused. Um, I'm hearing why now. So maybe you're wondering why they're contacting you now. Um, but I also feel like the Seven of Cups is like your person just didn't know which way to go about this. And they just, I guess they just bit the bullet. And went with like the shock factor. <laughs> For some reason, this is like... I feel like they felt like they had no other choice but to surprise you, but to do it in this way. You know, and I feel like they're going to kind of tell you like, hey, I have been denying my, my true feelings for you for so long, living in denial, and I should have just told you. I should have just come clean before because i feel like time has passed and i'm getting this energy of lost time and let me know if that's resonating for you sagittarius in the comments but i'm getting this energy of like this person might be picking might be feeling strongly that they have lost significant time by keeping all of this inside you know maybe if they had reached out sooner their life would be different now now, don't get me wrong, they are scared um, to be rejected because the Four of Cups did show up earlier. So I do feel like this person is a bit scared of rejection. But yeah, there's the Four of Cups again. I'm not, look at it, it's right here. So I feel like this person is a bit apprehensive because when they do kind of surprise you and tell you how they feel, what will happen after that? That Seven of Cups could also be referencing that too. Like, where do we go from here, right? Is anything going to come of that? Because they could come to you, Sagittarius, surprise you, talk to you, and then you're going to be like, I mean, there's a good chance that you're like, okay, well, thank you for that. Um, have a nice life, you know, and, and not want to push forward. But keep in mind that this person has been wanting a new beginning, a new start. So this is what they're kind of hoping for. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot. And plus, that way you can keep up with all of the videos that I come out with. Don't forget to read the giveaway details in the description box. Um, so if you're interested in, well, if you're interested in winning a deck, of course. Um, and... Thank you so much for all of your support, your comments, your likes, your subscribes. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.